Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Hero Pack Focus, and this time we are looking into the Hero Pack of Wolverine from the X-Men. Uh, Wolverine comes with a pre-built aggression deck and an extra modular deck for the encounter deck. So let's see what cards come in Wolverine's Hero Pack, and let's get started. Okay, and uh, let's first start from uh, Wolverine's Alter Ego side, which is Logan. Uh, first off, we have 6 recovery, which is the highest we have seen in uh, pre before any buffs are added to the regeneration. So that is a lot. Uh, Logan is uh, mutant traded. Um, Logan has the snicked setup uh, skill, which is uh, search your deck and discard pile for the Wolverine's claw upgrade and put it in play. And Wolverine has 6 hit points and I mean 10 hit points and hand size of 6. So, first of all, I will never play this hero so as in the written rules they say you need to play the setup. So, I will always search for the claws before I draw my opening hand, just because I will just uh, start the scenario again or the game again if I, for example, draw the hands or, or they are like turn into a drone or something stupid like that so that is just me play as you want but i will be playing as intended not as written okay well that's enough of that setup so you will get the wolverine's claws with, uh, in the setup into play then we have a wolverine so wolverine has two toward two attack and two defense so all around her uh, hero uh, X-Men traded, healing factor response after the player faints begins heal 2 damage and hand size of 5 and 10 hit points. So Wolverine seems like a hero that can stay in hero mode for a long time, uh, healing all, all the time and dealing damage or defending or whatever. So seems like a really interesting hero to play. Next up, uh, we look at the Wolverine's Claws that we'll search in the setup. So it is an upgrade which is a permanent, so no cost. So this just comes into play. Hero action. Exhaust Wolverine's Claws. Choose an, an attack event in your hand and take damage equal to its printed cost. Play that event ignoring its resource cost. That attack gains piercing. And this can be... Uh, well, this has... a physical resource icon, so if you have a card that uses uh, icons from your upgrades, this has an icon. Okay, well, that that uh, seems like a good card. You can uh, use your health as a resource, that's interesting. Then we have Jubilee. So Jubilee is the signature ally, two cost ally, a one ward, one attack. Uh, X-Men traded two hit points response after Jubilee enters play, choose an enemy until the end of the phase while Wolverine or Jubilee is making a basic attack against that enemy. They get plus two attack for that attack and this can be committed as a wild resource. So, mm, yeah, I, I think this is a okay two cost ally. It has some when enters play effect so you can just use her then jump block with her and call it a day next up uh, we have adamantium skeleton it is a two cost upgrade you get four hit points uh, wolverine gets plus one attack and his basic attack skin piercing and this can be committed as a physical resource so you really want this into play it boosts uh, wolverine's attacks it also makes them piercing, so tops are just not a, an issue with Wolverine. And it gives you hit points, so you can trade off uh, health for event, attack events even more. Next, we have Berserker Frenzy. It is a two cost upgrade condition. Hero response after Wolverine takes any amount of damage from an enemy attack, draw one card. Forced response after you flip to alter ego form, discard this card. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So this should stay in play quite a while because Wolverine probably won't be heading into alter ego that much. 
Next we have I got better. It is a focus upgrade. It is a superpower. Interrupt when you would be defeated by an enemy attack. Instead set your hit point dial to 5, ready your identity and discard this card. So this keys off of the <laughs> Wolverine's um, immortality or re regenerative abilities. So and this, uh, yeah, this. If you have this in play, uh, you can't be defeated. You'll just uh, return to five hit points and continue from there. And this go doesn't go out of play, so this goes into your discard. So you can play this over and over again. So <laughs> you could just hang hang. Uh, in, in the game for quite a long time. Well, uh, threat will be an issue, but at least damage won't. And this can be committed as an energy resource. Uh, next up, we have Logan's Cabin. It is a one cost support location traded. Alter Ego action, it's just Logan's Cabin. Shuffle one Wolverine card from your discard pile into your deck, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So, basic support cards, shuffle cards from your discard into your deck. Or draw cards or whatever. Next up, we have two copies of Berserker Rage. Oh, I mean Berserker Barrage. It is a two cost event. Attack traded. Hero action attack. Deal four damage to an enemy. If this attack defeats an enemy, you may take two uh, damage to beat this ability. So, if you defeat an enemy, maybe a minion or a villain, stage one or whatever. Uh, you can take two damage and just repeat this over and over again until you won't defeat an enemy. So this this is interesting for two two cost can deal a lot of damage. <clears throat> Next up uh, we have slice and dice two copies of this event also. So it is a three cost event attack created hero action make the following two attacks in order deal three damage to an enemy deal three damage to an enemy. And this can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So, three team, uh, similar to the Black Widows, deal one damage, deal two damage, deal three damage ability, but uh, only for two um, attacks. But still, a uh, pretty solid card. Then we have a Lunging Strike. There are two copies of this. So, Lunging Strike is a three cost event, attack traded. Hero action, attack, deal 8 damage to an enemy if uh, you exhausted Wolverine's claws to play this card. This attack gains overkill. So, and this can be committed as a physical resource. So, king off of uh, playing cards with the claws. Mm, then we have the Wolverine's uh, sword ability, track by scent. Two copies of this. Uh, it is two costed events, superpower thwart. Hero action thwart, remove three threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat from that scheme, draw two cards. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So, if you are able to get the last threat off of a, a scheme, then this pays for itself by drawing two cards. So, an interesting one. Lastly, we have two copies of regenerated healing in the deck. It is a one cost event, superpower traded action, choose. Heal 4 damage from your identity, or discard each stunned and confused status card from your identity. And this can be committed as an energy resource. So, those were the signature cards of Wolverine. Uh, next up, let's look at the rest of the pre-built aggression deck. Uh, first off, we have the aggression ally Psylocke. Psylocke is a 4 cost ally with 2 fort, 1 attack with an asterisk. Uh, Psyonic and Axeman traded with 3 hit points. Psylocke and there's play with two Psyonic Converts on her. Uh, action or, or the Asterisk is interrupted when Psylocke attacks an enemy, remove one Psyonic Counter from her, confuse that enemy and deal one damage to it. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So uh, basically this is the confused version of Iron Beast from the protection. So uh, you deal extra damage and you will confuse enemies instead of dealing extra damage and stunning enemies. So I think this could be a really interesting um, card. You can just hit uh, hit the villain, uh, confuse that villain, and uh, then you are safe, safer to go to Alter Ego to heal, for example. So I think this, this will be a staple aggression card for me from now on. Next up we have Sunfire. 
uh, Sunfire is a 2 cost ally with 1 dwarf to attack, excellent rate at 2 hit points, response after you play Sunfire from your hand, spend uh, energy resource, uh, choose an attachment with text hero action or hero response and discard it and this can be committed as a energy resource. So this is really good for those pesky uh, attached to the villain cards that, that are really uh, not cost efficient to remove. So uh, having this in play or, or playing this and discarding uh, energy resource so you can just get rid of those. Seems like a good one and cheap too. Next we have Battle Fury. There are three copies of Battle Fury in the deck. Um, one cost upgrade condition. Play under any player's control. Maximum per player. Uh, response after your hero attacks and defeats a minion. Deal one damage to your hero and discard Battle Fury. Ready your hero. And this can be committed as an energy resource. Seems, seems like a good one. Next up uh, we have warrior skill there are three copies of this so warrior skill is a two cost upgrade uh, with skill traits uses three warrior counters max one per player interrupt when your hero attacks remove one warrior counter from here that attack deals one additional damage and this can be committed as a mental resource not the best but not the worst either Next up, we have Out of My Way. Uh, three copies of this also. Out of My Way is a two cost event. Attack traded, hero action attack. Deal three damage to an enemy. Five damage instead if you if that enemy has the guard or patrol keyword. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So this is really good for uh, uh, on the top of my head from for the master mode scenario where all the sentinels have but the guard. So this is uh, really good. Uh, I think this is really good when you know what you are dealing with so you can deck build for the scenario. So that, that, that is interesting. Uh, next up we have uh, Precision Strike. Three copies of this. Uh, Precision Strike is a one cost event with attack traits. Hero action attack deal two damage to an enemy. If this attack defeats that enemy, heal two damage from your hero. Okay, well... Uh, um, Aggression healing card that that is really interesting and needed um, and this can be committed as a mental resource and Then we have some reprints. We have mean swing I'll just put it in the frame for a moment because it has new art. So we already have this so mean swing uh, I won't go into detail, but basically exhaust your uh, weapon upgrade and get plus three attack for the basic attack and uh, then we have Aggressive energy times two. This already came in the Mutant Genesis box for the Shadow Cup um, pre built deck. But basically, uh, when uh, max two per deck, uh, Hero Interrupt, when you spend this card to play an attack event, that event deals one additional damage. So, that that's, this is actually really good for the. Uh, for, for, for uh, Slice and Dice. So. If you play Slice and Dice with this, those damage, uh, those uh, actually, oh damn, it's not an attack event. <laughs> Never mind. But it is good for other other attack events. Lastly, we have the basic cards. First up, we have Colossus. Colossus already came in Shadow Cat's uh, set, but let's look at it again. Uh, it is a 4 cost ally with 1 for 3 attack and 2 uh, consequential damage for the attack. X-Men traded 3 hit points. Uh, reduce the cost to play Colossus by 1 if your identity has mutant or X-Men trade and it has toughness. And also can be committed as a cigar resource. Then we have Weapon X. Uh, Weapon X is a 1 cost support. Location play only if your identity has the mutant trait. Alter ego action. Exhaust Weapon X and take 1 damage. Discard cards from your deck until you discard an identity specific card. Then add that card into your hand and this can be committed as a mental resource. I think I, I like this one quite much because you usually want to see your um, identity specific cards or signature cards. Uh, then we have uh, Fastball Special. It is a one-cost event. 
uh, aerial attack team up card for Colossus and Wolverine, max one per deck. Uh, hero action attack uh, deal X damage to an enemy where X is the total attack of Colossus and Wolverine. This at, uh, attack gains overkill and piercing. So this should usually deal uh, 5 damage or 6 damage or whatever if you get your Wolverine boosted up. So this is good and there is actually another copy of this later. Then lastly we have the new uh, image, the basic resource cards. And that is everything that comes in the Wolverine pre-built deck. Uh, next up we will look at the other signature cards quickly. There are not that many. We have the second fast ball special, uh, which I already talked about. We have long shot. Uh, long shot is so four cost ally with two for two attack and with an asterisk. X Men trade at three hit points. Play only if your identity has the X Men trade. Uh, asterisk responds after long shot attacks. A non elite minion discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card has a star icon, uh, it in the boost area, defeat the attack minion, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So again, uh, really a scenario specific ally to have. Lastly, we have a new justice card. It is the command center and three copies of it. Command center is a one cost support location, max one uh, per player. Uh, response after an ally towards and if it's a side scheme, exhaust command center deal two damage to an enemy. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So, keying off of getting side schemes uh, defeated and dealing damage. Then, uh, let's look at the obligation and nemesis sets for Wolverine. First, the obligation, which is the past demons. Uh, give it to the Logan player. You may flip to Alter Ego form, choose, exhaust Logan, remove past demons from the game, or uh, you are stunned and confused, discard this card. And this has two boost icons. So, be pretty basic. And next, we look at the Wolverine's Nemesis set. It starts with Omega Red. Omega Red is a minion with one scheme, two attack with an asterisk, root, elite traded, eight hit points. Retaliate, one, steady, uh, a lot of keywords there. Mm, forced interrupt, when Omega Red attacks you, deal one damage to each character you control. <laughs> so this guy is a beast. You really want to get rid of this fast. And uh, three boost icons. Okay. Then we have the side scheme, which is the... Uh, the Carbonadium Synthesizer. Uh, why, while the Carbonadium Synthesizer is in play, Omega Red cannot be defeated. <laughs> and this has a boost uh, uh, acceleration icon that comes into play with 5 threat and 3 boost icons. So uh, that is bad because you really want to get uh, rid of Omega Red as fast as possible. But with this in play, you can't. So that, that is a bad combo for you. Uh, next up, we have Death Factor. Uh, Death Factor is an attachment attached to your identity. Force response after your turn ends. Take one damage. Alter ego interrupt. When you make a basic recovery, discard this card instead or healing damage. This has two boost icons. So, really annoying card to have. There are two copies of this actually. Lastly, we have a Tentacle Strike. So, Tentacle Strike is treachery. When, when revealed, you are stunned. Take 1 damage, 4 damage instead if you are already stunned. And it has a boost ability. You are stunned. Take 1 damage, 4 damage instead if you are uh, already stunned. So that is everything that comes in the Wolverine uh, Hero Pack. But we are not done yet. We still have a new modular set to look through. And it is death. Uh, it is the death. Uh, strike set. I'm, I'm fumbling with words. So uh, it starts with Lady Death, uh, Death Strike. Uh, Lady Death Strike is a one uh, a minion with the one scheme, two attack with an asterisk, elite reaver traded, six hit points, weak strike, and asterisk is force response after Lady Death Strike attacks and damages a character. That character's owner discards one random card from their hand, and this has three boost icons. So it doesn't help if you jump block uh, this enemy will discard a card from you. Next we have uh, Seeking Vengeance. It is a side scheme when revealed if Lady Death Strike is in play. 
She activates against you, otherwise search the encounter deck and discard pile for Lady Deathstrike and put her into play engage with you. Uh, five threat uh, when it comes into play and this has a acceleration icon. And it got, has uh, three boost icons. So a quite nasty side scheme to have. Uh, next we have two copies of Adamantium Upgrades Attachment. It is a tech attachment attached to an enemy without a copy of Adamantium Upgrades attached. Otherwise this card gains Surge. Attached enemy attacks gains Piercing. Gives plus two attack and an Asterix hero action spent. Um, energy, mental and physical resources discard this card. And it has two boost icons. Lastly, we have two copies of Hack and Slash. So Hack and Slash is a uh, treachery. When revealed, discard one random card from your hand and take damage equal to the number of printed resources on it. And it has a boost ability. Um, boost, discard one random card from your hand and take damage equal to the number of printed resources on it. And that is everything that comes in the Wolverine's hero pack. So. That is an interesting hero pack for sure. I will be sleeving this up and for sure trying this against Sabertooth, which is my uh, my in my opinion the nemesis minion for or enemy for Wolverine. But of course I understand they wanted to add Sabertooth into the uh, Mutant Genesis box, so they got, went with another nemesis uh, minion for Wolverine. But that will be an interesting uh, duel, uh, Wolverine vs. Saber too. But hope you guys like this uh, Hero Pack focus. Thanks for watching, and until next time.